We come to this new tutorial with Kit Android Sample. In the previous tutorial, we have created a new Android application project with Eclipse First app. And in this tutorial, we will explore the project structure and I will explain the use of every directory and file. So here we have our Android project First app. First we have the src directory here we have all the java classes for all in the package that we have named in the creation of the project we have named it we have named it app. so here we have all the java controller for all activities here we have first activity dot java when it when we create a new activity like this new activity activity name name activity so finish the java controller will be automatically placed in the src folder so here we have the main activity then we have the gen directory gen directory is, a, is a not generated java file that contains the build configuration and the r.java file the java file contains all the references and indexes for all the resources used in this application this uh, auto generated directory should not be edited if you mess up with uh, this uh, directory the application may not compile then we have the android 4.0 directory and the android private library and android dependencies these three directories are essential for the compiling of the application and will not be edited then we have the asset directory which which is like a file system where you can put any kind of file here we have the beam directory which is the output directory for the build and contains the final apk file and we have the libs directory which contains all the third party libraries used in this application then we have the rs directory which is for resources like a drawable in different resolution uh, XML layouts, menus, values like uh, screen values, size, dimension. All the resources are placed in the REST directory. Then we have the Android manifest file, which is the controlling file for all the applications. Here we declare all the the activity so we have activity name first activity action name here we have we declare also intent services and permission here we have another activity main activity so android manifest is the controlling file for all the applications then we have the web measure and finally we have the project properties file which contains project properties and settings such, such as the target so see you next